Hi guys, my name is Prateek and this is possibly my favorite video. We're going to talk about shorting. Basically, shorting means you sell first and hopefully buy back at a lower price later for a profit. In other words, you expect the market to fall and try to profit from that movement. Inversely, if the market goes upwards, you'll actually lose money. So let's understand how this mechanism works. We know that when a contract has to be created, there is a person who takes a long position. There's a person who takes the short position. And let me denote that by these two players. And a contract is created. Now this person, person A, wants the market to go up and will profit if the market does so. And this person, person B, who shorted the market, needs the market to go down and will profit if the market does so. So let's suppose the market goes up. This person makes a profit. But that profit actually comes from person B paying the difference, the mark to market, to person A. That's how he profits. Now, if the market actually fell, then person B who is short actually makes money. And that money comes from person A's mark to market. He's losing money and that is person B's profit. So basically, both of them are on opposite sides of the coin. So basically, as you can see, a short seller is selling first. And hopefully, if the market falls, trying to buy it back at a lower price later to make a profit. I mean, if you think about it, it's like going long. You're trying to buy first at a lower price in hopes that you can sell it at a higher price later. In shorting, it's just simply flip. So let me place a trade and show you what a short actually looks like. It's pretty simple. I'm going to add Nifty futures on my screen and I have September, October, November. I'll obviously choose the current month and I'll add that on my market watch. We can see that Nifty September futures has been added and I'll open the sell window. And we can see that the margin requirement over here is 1,10,000 roughly. That's right here. And the quantity is 50. That's one lot. I'm going to place a market order. So we should get executed somewhere around the 17,654 mark. Uh, let's place the order and see. There it is. The order has been completed. I can see that in the open orders, it's not there. In the executed, we can see 50 short. And let's go to positions to see how it looks. Perfect. Here you'll notice two things. One, I can see an open position of Nifty September futures. Two, I notice the quantity is minus 50. Minus quantity means you are short on that futures contract. We can see the average entry price and the LTP. Notice this very quickly before the market changes. We are a few points down from our entry and we're making that 200 rupees profit. And this is exactly what I wanted to show you. For every one rupee that Nifty Futures now falls from our entry price, we'll make 50 rupees profit. And just now, uh, the market is two rupees above our entry price and we're making 100 rupees loss. Pretty simple to understand. Now, one thing to note, in the earlier video, we actually initiated a long position where we initiated or created by buying one lot of futures for Infosys. That is called going long. When we exited that very position, you'll have to place a sell order. And that is not shorting. That is simply exiting the long position. Also called the square off. So I'll say that again. When you create a new long position by buying Infosys, you are going long. To exit, you will sell that very position. It's called selling or exiting or squaring off. However, when you initiate a fresh sell position, which I've done just now, creating Nifty September Futures minus 50 quantity, that is shorting. And to exit this position, I'll have to buy one lot of Nifty, but this is not a fresh long. It's simply squaring off the existing position. So let me show you how that works. I am going to go to the options menu here, click on exit, and I'm going to place a market order to buy back. And you'll see as soon as I press this, the open position is now closed and I made a 112 rupee profit on this trade and this amount will be credited to me, removing all the other charges. Key takeaways from this video are, 